You gonna run? You done licking? You want some weddies? Huh? Come on. You know you want it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You're gonna have to get used to me eventually. I'm the bringer of the food. What more do you want? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? You gonna let me come grab the can away from you? Without running? Eventually, eventually, little baby steps, right? <laughs> Don't eat it too fast. Still dealing with these bastards. Oh, you waffle! Pepper plants are doing good in the heat. I don't know what's going on with this one. It like it's like a banana pepper or something that crossbred with this with these uh, cow wonders. They're still producing blossoms too. This one kind of fell over. I didn't stake it, so I'm just letting it letting it do its thing couple of these I got steaks on they're getting pretty heavy with these with all these peppers on here I had to pick them this weekend some of them these ones a couple over here are really big oh uh, yeah I know up in here look at them good ones this one didn't get staked either she's kind of falling over with the weight of the peppers on them Tomatoes are still pumping them out. These ones look pretty good. This is kind of, this one's got a soft spot in it. They're kind of splitting a little bit. Plop. <laughs> There's some good ones on here. We're definitely going to have to pick today, though. Got quite a few. This, this bush is really loaded. This thing's got a bunch of nice small ones I got to get off of there today. Start handing around, give them around to the neighbors, I guess, because we can't eat them all. And uh, see if I can find them in here. It's another one of those horned worms. Do you see the gross white sacks on them? That's actually a wasp. Puts a parasite in them, and then this produces more wasps. So these are actually good. When you see it like this, that means they're getting attacked. You know, when you see it like this, it's it means they're getting attacked by that parasitic wasp. So you want to leave those ones. I just kind of bring them over here and hang them in the Rosa Sharon so they're not like right up on the tomatoes, you know. We'll leave them in there to get parasited <laughs> jeez it's a hell of a way to go huh look at this parsley stuff's growing really good in these wicking beds you know these little t pepper plants this one's kind of falling over i gotta stake him up he's got some good some good solid sized peppers on him too right there that's why he's falling over all right well there's a garden update Still got one row of potatoes to dig up too. I still haven't done that, but we gotta go take some scrap in. <sighs> Come back.
come back and we'll go through what we got at the auction last night. We got a few things. A couple, a couple tidbits. <laughs> Why do you always look angry? <laughs> go catch a mouse or something now. Well, we gotta get some straps on this stuff, that's for sure. And I'm probably gonna pull some of this heavy iron out of the front here. Some rotors and some of these grates, start stacking them up, keep them to the side. The other yard's still paying $10.50, uh, $10.50 a hundred on rotors and drums. So we'll keep stacking them up for now. Keep coming. That should be good. You should be good. That's good. I'll get the rest. Whatever that gets. Perfect. All right. Well, it looks like a big load. It's a whopping forty-five dollars. There's only a thousand pounds in there. Well, I'm out here messing around with some of the stuff I got at the auction last night. Sony speaker does not work. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's probably maybe it's Bluetooth. Uh, maybe yeah, it is Bluetooth. So I don't know. Maybe I'll mess with it some more see if there's a Fuse somewhere or something that went bad, but that's probably that's probably a lost cause uh, We got these two auric vacuums the ones commercial one it works, but the brush doesn't spin so the belts probably bad and this one Probably works, but one of the tongs on the plug is missing which I didn't notice but most of these were like impulse two dollar buys so it's not like it's that big of a deal scooter's good this thing's pretty cool throw in a row from 1992 parker brothers it's got all two sets of balls in there it looks like it's all there it's not worth a whole lot on ebay maybe about 25 dollars with a really good box but i just figured it was cool because you don't see that stuff too often so i try to pick it up when i can find them we got 1998 alligator got some brass plates which i might put on my wood stove along next to the other brass plates i got up there uh some kitchen stuff look at this oh yeah we got an xb65 super soaker this thing's probably about 25 bucks online i don't know maybe i'll be able to get ten dollars for it i think i gave two for it not a lot that's for sure none of this stuff i paid a lot for Except for one thing I paid up pretty good for, like $30. This was pretty good. I don't remember what I paid for this. Maybe 5 bucks. But this one lighter in here is like $25. Casablanca brass. So that's a good lighter. There's a couple other lighters here. There's a bunch of lighter collectors at the market. So I'm sure I can get rid of them. This is really nice too. Check this out. Paris. It's definitely got some age on it. Look at that ring below on the end of it. It's all fancy. I don't know what that is. This alabaster, maybe. I don't know. It's pretty cool. There's a bunch of pins in here. I didn't even really go through them. This old, old lady church pencil here. It's pretty cool. Some pins. Desert Storm. Some military stuff. There's a cat. More military pins. So. That was a good little buy. I like the Super Soaker too. That's cool. This is actually really good. Yeah. 13 inch copper bottom. Revere wear. It was actually in this box a lot of, long, of uh, kitchen stuff. This is a good pan right here. On eBay, sold listings usually around $100 to $125. So um, hopefully I can get $54 at the market. We'll see. 
If anybody knows what it is or what it's worth, I should be able to get 50. We got a Pony Express Spatoon, but unfortunately it's got some frost cracks in it where it froze. Somebody had it outside. But, you know, maybe somebody wants it for decoration. It was it was in this lot of kitchen stuff, so it ain't like it's too much money. This was also thrown in a lot. We got like a little truck set, car set. I think they threw all that in with those toys. This was a really good buy. Look at these. Ad Lake Railroad. Railroad locks with the keys. This one's not, but there's four of them in here. Four Ad, Ad Lakes Railroad locks with all four of them have the keys. So these should be. I should be able to get 20 a piece for these at the market. I would think if you put them online. I mean, these are all over the place. Anywhere from 30 to 65 dollars with the key. If they don't have the keys, they're like 10 bucks. But the key is the key is the key, right? If they got the keys and they work, they're worth pretty good money. So this little box and a couple of padlocks. I have a key for the one. And the one key I have might do both of these big locks, but we'll see. If I do, I'll sell them as a pair. And uh, this was a couple different buys. A couple Makita uh, Impacts, three, three Makita Impacts, two green ones, uh, LXTs. Yeah, and then this one's just a brushed one, I believe. They all work, so they just look like crap, but should be able to get 20 bucks for the charger, probably 20 for the battery, even though it's old and got no bar on it. No uh, button to see what the uh, power level is, but we should be able to get 20 for that, 20 for that, maybe 20 a piece on both of these, and then probably like 10 bucks on that guy because she's pretty haggard looking, but... I gotta keep an eye on that. I don't want to run too long. This thing needs it. Guess I'll let it go a little longer. Filled up both of these already. Wicking beds. And uh, uh, this Bose speaker, which is kind of outdated, it's probably for like an iPad or I mean a, an iPod or something. This was pretty good. In this toolbox, there's a a Bosch router that works with a whole bunch of router bits so I'll probably try to lump it all together I gotta look and see what these routers are going for it's a Bosch 1617 router so it's a good one I believe this is part of it somehow and then there's a bunch of other router bits and things in here some more router bits router bits so keep that keep that all together see what we can get for that but that was it for the auction i got a, a few things spent a little bit of money but nothing too crazy but like i said the best score was probably this this pan if i can't get 50 for it i might i might actually keep it, it needs a little bit of scrubbing but this is a really good one <sighs> this thing would probably make some really good pancakes huh but that was a good score, and so was the locks. The locks is a good score. So were these. I mean, there's money there. They work, and they will buy them. People buy them. So I don't know what you guys think. What do you think I could get for these two Oryx? I know there's a couple vacuum guys that always are crying every time I throw them out. So I guess we'll take them and see see if I can get rid of them. But uh, what do you think I could get for the commercial one without the wheel running, without the the belt being on there? And that XL over there needs a plug on the end of it. This one is just one speed. And this one looks like it has two speeds. So what is it? Just suck and brush? Or is it legit two speeds? I don't know. I don't know that much about vacuums, that's for sure. I know how to use one. That's about it. <laughs> well, woke up to that. Hopefully I can push it up. I got some bamboo and some stuff here to tie it up. See if we can fix it. That thing is super heavy. I guess I'm going to have to cut some of these peppers off here today. I might have to actually run a string from the bottom and like tie it to another plant on this side or something. Like maybe this one that's falling over. Tie these two together. Maybe they can fight each other. Oh, definitely have to get some of these peppers cut off of here though today.
Well, you got to stay on top of it or Mother Nature's just going to take it all back, right? Jeez. <laughs> this stuff's crazy. Can't even get in the door. We're in a drought, but this stuff apparently doesn't care. <laughs> well, we got four gallons of Monsanto to dump on it, so. Probably gonna look like a fire hazard in about five days. <laughs> <laughs> 